Today, I'm gonna to push my Raspberry Pi to the absolute limit and find out if it can handle one of the most challenging computations in all of computer science, video object recognition. Now, normally this would be completely out of the question due to the modest compute resources on this device, but Google just released a new product that's about to change everything. And it's called a Coral AI Edge TPU. And it's a piece of hardware designed to do only two things look cool and run machine learning algorithms, which can take a relatively low power device like a Raspberry Pi and turn it into a supercomputer. That escalated quickly. First, I'm gonna install the camera onto my Raspberry Pi. Then I'm gonna plug in the Coral AI and boot it up. Next, I'm gonna download some packages from Coral.ai. Okay, so now that the Raspberry Pi is turned on, the Coral is connected. I'm on my laptop here and I'm gonna connect to the Raspberry Pi over SSH. So I'm gonna do SSH Pi at the host name, which is raspberrypi.local. Now you can see I'm logged in as user Pi, but I wanna be a super user. So I'm gonna do sudo su dash. The beauty of that is it just gives you root access. Okay, and so actually getting the Coral AI set up is pretty straightforward and there's pretty um, robust documentation on Coral.ai. So we're gonna select uh, Linux here, right? Cause we're running Raspbian on the Raspberry Pi. So that would be Linux. And I'm just gonna start installing some of these packages here to get the Coral AI installed. So I can grab this guy here. And then if I come over here, throw that in there. Okay, and then we'll just grab this guy here plop it in there. So now installing the Pi Coral library on Linux, single command, easy enough. Let's plop that in there. I totally understand this code. Next, we're gonna test out some of the pre-built models. And then right from there, it says run a model on the Edge TPU. So just to make sure everything's working correctly, we're gonna run a classification model. So let's um, download the code from GitHub. It wants us to install some requirements real quick. So actually, sorry, there's a there's a starter script that we need to run first. Install requirements.sh, and again, it's just downloading dependencies. You run that one time. I think this is downloading the computer vision models like Inception, um, ResNet, et cetera. Okay, so now we should be able to run the inference. So we're essentially, we're using the Python 3 runtime to execute classify.py and then supplying it the arguments here. You can see the arguments is the model, the labels, and the input image which is gonna be the parrot in this case. So let's grab this guy here. Let's see if we can't run this. Okay, so it looks like it executed successfully. It did a couple different trials. I think um, the first trial takes longer because it's loading the model into memory. So 5.8 milliseconds is incredibly fast. Um, and you can see Arrow Macau, Scarlet Macaw, that is the, um, the breed of parrot. That's the level of confidence. And so it worked pretty well. And if we actually go over to VNC Viewer here, so this is a, um, a window that's logged into the, the Raspberry Pi using the uh, Raspberry Pi desktop so we can visually see everything. Okay, so we ran the inference against this image here. But will it be able to handle real-time video? Let's find out. So now I wanna do real-time video object detection. So I'm gonna go over to examples here. And what we want is image recognition with video. So I'm gonna to go to this GitHub account and we are gonna go ahead and download this. Get a clone. Okay, and then we can go into examples. And then there's a whole folder called Raspi Cam. So it's specifically made for Raspberry Pi, which is awesome. First, I'm just gonna install the uh, requirement script real quick. All right, real quick, we gotta download the models. So we wanna run the shell script. So I'm gonna do sha download models.shell. Right, these are the trained models because we're running inference here. We're not doing training. See, we can see mobile net, inception. So I go into Raspberry cam, and then we get this guy here, classify.py. And this is gonna open up a stream on our Raspberry Pi, a video, and it's gonna run inference against it in real time. And it's gonna be a broad object classification model like ResNet or Inception V3. So it has like, I don't know, the ability to track like 10,000 different things. So should be able to uh, track pretty much everything. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna do Python 3 classify, right? So there's no argument this time. It's just, it's just gonna, the input is the uh, Raspi camera. Okay, so we can see it says sliding door, 
which is right, Windows screen. That's all right, so I'm gonna to try to move the uh, camera in real time. <laughs> so I like how it thinks that that building is a prison. <laughs> I'm sure that architect would be pleased with that assessment. Okay, so we're just gonna run it one more time and I'm gonna see if it can detect my guitar. Then I walked into the video with my guitar and boom, the Raspberry Pi classified the object with an astounding 91% certainty.